KRHS TV News. I'm Montrese Bowden. And I'm Izzy Clark. We'll be covering a variety of different topics involving student life at Rittner High School. This is our winter holiday edition. Our very own Jason K takes a look at all the ways Rittner celebrates the holidays. What would you say is the most like, like the best part of Christmas? Best part of Christmas? Probably the music. Music? Yeah. Oh, I, would have to say I get so into music. Cool. I listen to music. All so, year guys, round. I'm here with Sarah. Sarah. Okay, Sarah. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? If you celebrate Christmas? Um, the shopping part for other people. Christmas means to me to visit your family, basically have fun. Celebrate Christmas. What is your favorite part about Christmas? Spending it with my family. What's up, Daryl? Hi. What are you doing? Uh, doing office work thing. Yes. Oh, are you? What do you think you're gonna get received for Christmas this year? Uh, either gift cards or money. My, <laughs> um, my favorite part about Christmas is absolutely just being with my family, mm -hmm. uh, getting to spend time with them. That's all I really care about. Awesome. Yeah, I agree. What about you, Corey? I would say the same thing. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, my very favorite is probably going to Christmas Mass and just celebrating with my family. Awesome. Just like the the atmosphere, you yeah, know. The vibe, the yeah, the vibe. Yeah. You got the lights. You know, yeah. snow. That's cool. hopefully snow. Yeah. Are you excited for the present? I had my list ready in November. Anyway, it's December and that means finals. Our administrators, teachers, and students share the ins and outs of final exams. Uh, we planned our final exam actually uh, a couple years ago and so it's really along the lines of um, an ACT with heavy reading, multiple choice, and also a uh, small essay at the end. Uh, the first thing I do when I plan my final exam is um, look at the content that we talked about uh, in class, uh, figure out what um, I find to be the most important information, most important topics. I believe our final does challenge students and it also prepares them, especially in 11th grade, uh, for the ACT that they will be taking. Um, and uh, it also gets them thinking about some of the analysis that we've been doing throughout the semester. Uh, I'd say the biggest challenge for students is not the content, uh, which is just, um, you know, rote memorization or remembering facts or dates or names or events. Um, I'd say the most challenging part is the skills um, needed to uh, complete the test successfully. Um, I think of stress a lot when I think of finals. Um, I also think of a lot of extra working. Um, I'm really scared and I think about grades and my future. Oh, you're not going to like this answer. Um, I prepare to do finals by studying a little more than what I usually do, which is a negligible amount. I'm going to go over all the material my teachers have given me over the semester. get dream tickets in a variety of ways. Um, there are green dream tickets that teachers give out in the classroom. Um, there's a couple ways that they give them out. Uh, they'll give them out at times for a targeted universal recognition of ki things kids are doing right, uh, things that they do right every single day. Uh, the second reason uh, a teacher would give out a dream ticket is if they had some kind of special uh, recognition or incentive dream tickets uh, as, as a motivator with students. Most of the time we don't get recognized at all for doing the right thing. We only get recognized for doing the wrong thing. If we have a school store um, and dream tickets can be used at the school store to purchase various items, folders, pencils, pens, lanyards, uh, all the way up to uh, Dream Big t-shirts. Um, in addition to that, kids can use dream tickets between two and four dream tickets depending on the day to get into the gym, to play basketball or soccer at lunch. Um, kids can use dream tickets to buy smoothies Kids can dream ticket, dream, use dream tickets to buy pizzas um, that we have delivered once a month. Or kids can use their dream tickets to simply put them in a raffle. We have a raffle um, that students can um, put their tickets in and we raffle off uh, QT gift cards and McDonald's gift cards. Now to the best of the month segment. We are celebrating the great things about December. At number three, it's finals only good thing about finals is that the semester is over. 
At number two is the beginning of winter sports season. Don't forget to check out a match, game, or meet during this month. Go Huskies. And number one, winter, winter break. break. It's time to sleep in, hang out with family and friends. And two weeks off of school. Next, we're going to take a look at Rittner's Holiday Concerts featuring our band, orchestra, and choir performers. Uh, currently, right now, we're on a daily basis utilizing all 50 minutes. Uh, we're playing a ton of Christmas songs, ranging from like, like songs from the 1600s all the way up to like Charlie Brown Christmas themes. We're doing, um, we're playing a little bit of modern winter music as well for those who don't like necessarily celebrate Christmas. Trying to play the best I can, make sure Mr. House don't get too frustrated with everybody not playing good on their solos and just trying to have fun. It's Christmas time, so that's my favorite season. Well, that's our show for this month. KHS TV News will be back next semester with more news and information on Rittner High School. So don't forget to keep working towards your dreams. And keep your Husky pride alive.